coming up we're gonna be talking about the d23 expo um, parks there was tons of stuff so um knackered so let's jump into it what's up everyone it's roger here from discingdom.com with the this kingdom daily show it's sunday doing an extra one today because of so much news announced last night at the d23 expo at the parks and also at the film ones i'm going to just go through as a quick rundown i'm going to be going into detail on this um, throughout the week i'm um, probably a little bit more i'm um, look, looking at the detail but i'll just get you all the news also going to be recording some podcast episodes with victoria tonight where we'll be talking a little bit more in discussion about this so let's run through the disney um, D23 event. I mean, they literally, they were just um, announcing it one after another. Luckily, I was able to um, watch my Periscope video, so we were able to kind of keep up with the latest what was going on there. But here's kind of a rundown, and things are changing so fast. It's, you know, literally, just as I was looking here now, they've just um, been a report that the, the, the movie in China in Epcot is going to be redone. So there's literally tons of new stuff. We've got new minivans that are literally Minnie Mouse themed Ubers running around and parks. The gondola system is now confirmed. It's going to be a new resort for DVC members. Um, you've also got um, over in Epcot, uh, where it's been announced that there's a new Guardians of the Galaxy attraction replacing Ellen's Energy Adventure. We've also had it um, confirmed that Ratatouille is going to be coming to the um, France Pavilion. And also, um, is it Mission to um, Mission to Mars as is getting an update that will be coming in. Rumours still running around that um, Inside Out are going to be taking over Figment's Journey of Imagination because they didn't announce it, but they have said that they are planning on redoing Future World. There's lots more stuff to be announced on that, so that's one of the other rumours running around. While over in um, Magic Kingdom, it has been confirmed that the Tron attraction is going to be coming to, Tron, to the Tomorrowland. However, it is not going to be replacing... Um, the um, speedway that looks like the, the concept art sh is showing the speedway going around it. So that's good news from that point of view. Over in Hollywood Studios, it's been announced that um, Toy Story Land will be opening up in summer 2018. And there was also a little bit about um, Star Wars Land, about that opening up in 2019. It's going to be opening up in California first. You can go too much more into that one there. Um, also over at um, Hollywood Studios as well, um, the great movie ride which has been rumoured to have been, um, that's going to be changing over to a Mickey Mouse, kind of like a Mickey Mouse shorts ride. Again, that's going to be closing in August and that will be um, replaced with this new attraction. It looks pretty cool. I really like this. It's going to be like the first attraction really featuring Mickey Mouse. So I think that's definitely going to be a cool thing. Be a new theatre opening up in the Magic Kingdom as well. Nothing for um, over in the Animal Kingdom. There was a new um, new ship for the Disney Cruise Line announced. There was also um, a some new content coming to the, to the cruise ships for like Beauty and the Beast and stuff. While over in Disneyland, um, Paradise Pier is going to become Pixar. There's going to be some new Marvel attractions announced. Um, literally, I mean, there's just so much here. I'm just trying to remember. Well, there was so much stuff that was announced during the event. Oh, yeah, we got a Star Wars themed hotel coming to um, well, Disney World, which has been rumored for a while. Disneyland Paris is going to be, um, the New York Hotel is going to be rethemed as Marvel. Fantastic. That's the closest one to me. So that's something I'd love to go and stay at that one. Um, there's a new restaurant coming to um, Epcot, which is the new one. Uh, do, do, do. Let's have a quick look here. There's so much. Um, Rex. Oh, yeah. They also announced that the Star Wars lands are now known as Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. So that's their official name. And yeah, that was that was all the, all the stuff. There was just so much. They, I mean, a lot of it was confirmations of what we knew. Also, like you know, them the focusing on Epcot. There's gonna be some big changes there. I have said with Epcot, they want to be um, true to what um, Epcot started with. But yeah, pretty much everything we kind of expected. The only thing um, there's a few surprise little things thrown in there as well. And um, like Fantasmic, that everyone at the event got fast passes to kind of go right, run out and do that. Um, show that's returned to Disneyland, paint the night parade, moving over Disneyland. There was just so much stuff. Um, so just going on that on there. Also, um, the video games um, thing as well, which was a load of stories over on Disney Gaming. We had a brand new Kingdom Hearts free trailer for Toy Story Land. So it just looks amazing. That looks so exciting. There was also new augmented reality, a new Marvel virtual reality game. There were tons of stuff there. And then we had the actual the. The, sort of the movie panel where they were showing off loads of new stuff loads of like them they showed off an avengers trailer but they have for the infinity war but it hasn't been shown to everybody else new trailer for wrinkle of time 
There was um, like a special clip of Mary Poppins come out as well. There was just so much news. So I definitely recommend going over to Disney Kingdom and checking out all of the different stories to kind of go into. It's going to take a while for all this to sink in. And so we're going to be doing a number of different podcasts this week. And we're going to talk about all of these things from the parks in more depth. Also, as far as the video game stuff as well, you want to check out uh, the Disney Gaming channel. Um, because um, my co-host James was at the event and we're going to be recording a special episode on Tuesday this week kind of going through everything that was announced at the event but there we go that was I really as much as this plan for the daily show was to have it Monday through Friday this weekend and I'm expecting next weekend with the San Diego Comic Con kind of shows that that's not really <laughs> there was just too much news there was so much stuff coming out of it and I suspect we'll be kind of dissecting some of this stuff as we go along anyway guys thank you very much for watching be sure to check us out over at DizKingdom.com. Hit that subscribe button.